If combustible and flammable dusts are present in the air in a given location, even if for a short period of time, the area is classified as a hazardous location. Any electrical or non-electrical equipment installed in these locations must not be allowed to become a source of ignition or combustion. Electrical and non-electrical equipment installed where there are explosive dusts present must be designed and constructed in compliance with the relevant safety standards in order to be safe to use in such hazardous locations. As per International Electrotechnical Committee standards, the areas where explosive dusts may be present are categorized into three groups, Zone 20, Zone 21, and Zone 22. This animation is about Zone 22. Zone 22 is defined as an area in which an explosive dust atmosphere in the form of a cloud of dust in the air is not likely to occur in normal operation, but if it does occur, will persist for a short period only. Ignition sources must be prevented during normal operation. Electrical and non-electrical equipment used in Zone 22 must not become a source of ignition in the form of hot surfaces or sparks. In Zone 22, under normal operating conditions, it is unlikely that an explosive dust-air mixture will occur. An explosive atmosphere might only be expected in the event of malfunctions, such as those that result in whirled up dust. The distinction among the three zones, 20, 21, and 22, may be seen in this illustration. In this example, explosive clouds of dust can develop due to a tank malfunction or rupturing or failure of the handling plant. In order to be certified as compliant with safety standards for zone 22, an electrical device must be protected by one or more of the following protection techniques. Intrinsic safety with level of protection, IC, encapsulation with MC protection, protection by enclosure with TC protection, and purging and pressurization with PZC. Additionally, equipment with optical radiation features such as lasers can be installed in Zone 22 if the optical power is inherently safe using OPIS protection or an interlock system complying with OPSH protection or using protected optical radiation complying with OPPR with an equipment protection level, or EPL, of DC. Equipment suitable for use in Zone 20 or 21 can also be safely installed and used in Zone 22. We encourage you to view our other videos to learn more about the other classified areas as well as the protection techniques that are specific to them. If you are a product designer or a buyer and need an electrical device that has been certified for Zone 22, the Haslock Directory website can help. Haslock Directory is the world's most trusted source of information about hazardous location products and their manufacturers.